barred Dr. Meguna Meguna from returning to the country as ordered by the court. State Council Christopher Marwa told vacation judge Weldon Kurir that the state has complied with orders issued on the 6th of January 2020 requiring admission of Miguna Miguna back to the country. However, Miguna Miguna's lawyer, Dr. John Haminwa, told the judge that his client is unable to come to the country because the government sent a red alert to Germany and France asking them not to allow Miguna to pass through the estate en route to Kenya. Hamina said the government is in contempt and must budge. The judge has directed the state to file a response within one day and the matter to be heard on the 10th of Friday, January 2020. Let's bring in lawyer Nelson Harvey, who's been, who's been acting for Dr. Miguna Miguna as well. Harvey, many thanks for joining us on Newsdesk this afternoon. So why is Miguna Miguna not in the country yet? Well, Miguna is not in the country because he has twice been removed from a flight. First, Lufthansa was not able to ferry him to Kenya because they indicated they had a red alert from the government of the Republic of Kenya. Mm -hmm. When he tried Air France, he was given the same communication. Mm -hmm. Now, what is of concern to us is this. The government of the Republic of Kenya claims that it has complied with the order, and indeed it appears to have issued a press statement that it will facilitate Meguna's entry. Yet, on the other side, two airlines, international airlines of formidable repute, have indicated that much as they allowed Meguna to board the plane, they received a red alert from the government of Kenya. It becomes, the quite, fact clear that... then, it becomes quite clear then mm -hmm. that the position indicated by the two airlines is the correct position. I've seen tweets uh, from the likes of Air France. They are confirming that indeed they did receive express, um, you know, directions from authorities in Kenya. And that's the word, authorities in Kenya, uh, not to have Miguna Miguna in their, uh, their, their planes. But let's talk about this red alert. Is this a red alert that had been issued prior when Miguna Miguna's issues began? Or is it a new red alert issued recently when he began his journey back to Kenya? We are not able to identify at what particular point in time this red alert was issued. But anyway, perhaps it's very important that we understand what is a red alert. A red alert is a signal from uh, a state where a plane is supposed to land that they will not allow that plane to land. Ideally, that is what a red alert is. So irrespective as to when this red alert was issued by the government of Kenya, it is incumbent upon the government, if at all it is keen on complying with the court order or leaving to the expectation that was given by President Uhuru Kenyatta last week to withdraw the red alert. Let, let, let's talk about that because President Uhuru Kenyatta, again, very categorically there last week saying Miguna Miguna is a Kenyan citizen, can come back to the country. But we've seen from Miguna Miguna's tweets there saying that that red alert actually referred to him as a Canadian citizen and not as a Kenyan citizen. So where does that leave Miguna Miguna's citizenship and the immigration in terms of respecting court orders? Uh, several points. One, it was not upon the President of the Republic of Kenya to confer citizenship on Miguna. Meguna is a born Kenyan, a fact that has been asserted by a Kenyan court of law. The government of the Republic of Kenya appealed the decision of the High Court and lost before the Court of Appeal. So that it is not a favor that was being granted to Meguna. It was an obligation on the part of the state to comply with that court order. Fast forward, it is uh, now obvious that despite all this representation, the government does not want to allow Meguna Meguna to come to Kenya. And we experienced this thing in the 80s and the 90s when that Muslim cleric, Sheikh Balala, was uh, deprived of his nationality by the government of President uh, uh, Daniel Arab Moy. It is very sad that with the current constitution that guarantees all these rights and liberties, we still prevail in an environment where he who determines whether or not you enjoy your rights and liberties is somebody in the executive. All right. Many thanks. That is uh, Nelson Harvey. Many thanks, Nelson. We'll be following up on uh, this uh, report. Uh, Dr. Miguna, Miguna, homebound and no more there, as uh, reported by his uh, lawyer. He has been uh, ejected from two flights so far, uh, uh, both of them citing directions from Kenyan authorities.